Hi and welcome to a Mr. What video. Today we're going to discuss um, the issue I've had with not keeping up with some drivers since getting my wheelbase back from Thrustmaster. It seems that some settings have changed recently so I'm just going to quickly discuss you. Are you slow with people ahead of you um, like I was the last few races? Um, I think I found the reason why. So I'll just quickly help you out. You might have the same problem or if not it just gives you a bit of peace of mind that the settings are correct. So what I'm going to do is go into a couple of games um, that I'm used to driving and we'll just double check that the settings are correct for you. Hopefully it helps you out. If you like the video don't forget to press the like button please and hopefully you subscribe to see some more. So let's move on and see what we can do. Okay so we're going to jump into the Thrustmaster control panel. I have a TSXW Racer steel wheel base, this one here. Uh, this probably does apply to many other Thrustmaster products as well. But as you can see there, you can see my pedals, um, accelerator pedal or gas pedal is shown. It won't go to 100%. Same with the brake pedal, I'm absolutely jammed on it there, can't go anymore. And also the clutch pedal as well. So there's no settings that I can find in this section that changes anything to do with the pedals. So you don't get full um, calibration on that point. Now what you have to do is actually go into your games to actually set where 100% is on each pedal. So I'm going to go into Content Manager which is a Seto Corsa. This is the main screen that loads up on Content Manager. We're going to go across to Settings. Make sure you're in Seto Corsa on the top left. Make sure you're in Controls. And this is where you've got your throttle, your brakes and clutch. Obviously in your axis section just here. And as you can see, when I'm pressing the throttle here, I'm not getting the full extent, which is what problem was I had with my last race where I couldn't catch anyone. I'm at 78% throttle. Um, this is the reason why. And what you have to change is this slider here. Now, as you can notice, as I bring it down, it's now changing where my 100% is, which is there. Now I've got 100%. Same goes with my brakes, jamming on there. If I bring it down, it's, this is the two option here. If I bring this down, now you might not want to go all the way, depending on how much brake force you want, but you might want to just say about there. That's 100% on your brake pedal. And the same goes with your clutch, but your clutch isn't really that important, it's either on or off most of the time, unless you want to ride in the clutch in any way. We'll then pop over to Assetto Course Competition only. We'll click on Options. We'll click on Controls. You'll see when I'm on the throttle here, again, it's now not on 100%. It used to be fine, I don't know what's changed, so there was something must have changed while the wheelbase was away getting repaired. So to change that so option, we press the down arrow alongside throttle. And we need to change this maximum limit there. So as you can see there, this bar is light grey and dark grey. As that moves up, we want to get it to say where our 100% is, which is about there. Some people change this slightly so they don't get the, the move where the 100% is. I would rather have it 100% is 100%. So now that's telling the game where my 100% is. So I'll always get 100% throttle. Same goes with my brake, as you can see there, it doesn't know where my 100% of the brake is, so again you can just change where the maximum limit is. You can move up or down, and my 100% brake is about there, it's, a, it's about right. Again, some people change their maximum limit depending on what brake force they want on there, and clutch, you could say you could move that down as well if you wanted to, so it knows where 100% is. And uh, that works there probably. And obviously save your settings there. Uh, next game we can have is Automobilista 2. So this is the menu for Automobilista 2. Go to options. You've got controls. Calibrate your pedals. Now this will do it automatically for you. So you put your foot down on the throttle so it knows where 100% is. Again with the brake. I can't go any more than that. And again, you clutch. And it knows now where all the 100% are. 
and click on save. And that's it, you're done. You are now have 100% throttle on all those three different titles. I haven't tried against iRacing as yet or any other titles, but I'm sure there's settings in there that does the same. But that now has given me 100% throttle and decent brake on all my racing games. So now a quick drive to make sure everything's all working. Quick race with the minis. So now I've got full throttle there, as you can see. Before I was getting overtaken and everything, so. <laughs> everything's all good there now. No issues at all, other than my driving capabilities. But at least we've got everything full power now. And everything's all good. So I hope these settings help you out. Just need to improve my driving now. <laughs> I would have been overtaken by now. So I hope that, bleh, I can't get any words out today. So I hope that helps you out on those three titles, Assetto Corsa, uh, the Competizione, and also, also Automobilista 2. There are other games as well, but I'm sure the settings work exactly the same. But it's always worth double checking and making sure that all your items are calibrated. If they've been away for repair, or you've modified them, or you've unplugged them, always make sure, because you'll be frustrated like I was in all my racing, trying to figure out why everything was right or, or wrong in this case. So always double check and uh, you should be good to go. So I hope that helps you out. I hope you enjoy your racing now those settings are checked. Again, if you think this is helpful, please share it. I uh, hope you like it. And um, if there's any other how-to videos you'd like me to do, please give me a shout. Um, until next time, bye for now. Thanks for watching, bye.